a first-time caller out of Kansas City. Robert, welcome to the show. Thank you for calling. Hey, Jesse. Good morning. Hey, Robert. How are you? I'm doing well. Good. Uh, I wanted to answer your biblical question. Oh, good. What do you believe? I believe that the earth might be flat, Jesse. <laughs> and why do you believe that? Well, you know, I thought it was stupid or crazy or whatever, right? Because, you know, uh, and then I went out to disprove it. And it's just really weird, Jesse. I guess I don't really know what shape it is or what's going on. But I was going to ask you, Jesse, do you feel the earth moving? Like, do you feel like that we're spinning around and stuff? Thank God, no. Yeah, me neither. But I also don't feel that it's flat either. Well, it might not be, but I, I got a telescope, and I, I tried to be scientific with it, you know, uh, mathematics and right. using the information from NASA, things like that. Right. And I went out to, to prove or disprove to myself, because I thought these people were just crazy or something. And then I went out to do that, and I found myself going, well, damn, you know, it, it, <laughs> I'm seeing things I shouldn't be able to see, and... Like what, and for example? Just, like what? Just seeing things at distances over bodies of water, let's say, where the curve should be uh, sufficient to um, hide those things behind it. And you look off across the body of water with the proper optics, and you're able to bring things into vision that uh, on a, you know, the, the 25,000-mile globe, global Earth, you shouldn't be able to see that based on the mathematics. And so, you know, doing those sort of experiments and stuff, I just found myself at least questioning what we've been taught. And then you go into the whole children of the lie thing, and it's like these people are, they, their intention is to deceive us on so many levels. So, you know, I don't know what's going on, Jesse. I don't know if the space is real at this point. Right. Um, it's, it's crazy, man. Well, you're definitely right in that you should question things. We should never just take someone's word at it. We need to hear it. We can hear it, but let it go in one ear and out the other. I think it's very interesting, though, that uh, this growing debate about whether the earth is flat or not is happening. Nick and I, uh, I have a driver uh, this weekend, a Christian guy, really nice guy. He says he's a Christian. And they were having this conversation, and he admitted that he believed that the earth is flat. And we were surprised. And he black. And we was, I was surprised, I think Nick were too, that he believed that. And so um, a lot of people started to believe it. Let me ask, uh, Robert, did you at one time believe that the Earth was round? Well, absolutely, Jesse. I went to state school just like most people do and got a traditional education um, and believed everything. Well, I, didn't, I guess I'd say I believe everything, but I believe the, found, the, the fundamentals, the foundations of science um, and, and things like that to the point where, you know, I was like, I would say probably like most people. And then I had some people who I respected, some people yeah. who, uh, who, who were degreed and who, uh, who had a background, military officers, things like that, tell me to look into this. And people who I respected, who actually, you know, in the world were, you know, respected people. And once I, once I had that type of person tell me that, and then a few other people, I decided to try and disprove them because I thought it was ridiculous. And then once I started down that journey, it took me a couple years, but I finally was just like, man, I don't know what's going on now. I thought I would see all this confirmation of what I knew to be true. Right. And then eventually it was, it, it was just not there. And so I at least have a question now and my belief, right. I guess I don't believe anything. Now. I guess you could say I, it's not what I believe, but my beliefs have been um, in a way shattered to the point where I'm questioning now, uh, you know, the fundamentals of everything. And I, and I hope everybody does that because it's a, uh, it's, it's really cool to open your eyes like that anew. You know, look at the sky, look at the sun, the he, moon, the stars. He actually look at them he as opposed much. to taking the, taking the word of somebody else. Yeah. Actually look for yourself at everything. And it's, it is. It's fascinating. Yeah. It really is. It's great. He pretty much said exactly what you said about it and what you discovered about it. Is there someone teaching the same thing to everybody about the flat earth? Because he said the same thing. 
and he's a Christian. Are you a Christian, Robert? Oh yes, Jesse. I I am. I I or at least I do the best that I can. I'm and so is I'm there not. a some sort of a Christian person out there or a group teaching that the earth is flat? Somewhere uh, are you guys getting information from some other Christian person? Well, I know there's a lot of stuff on YouTube, Facebook, social media types. There, there's there's lots of information like that going around where a lot of people are seeing it for the first time. Um, you know, for me, it was my own my own. You know, I tried to get out myself and look at things in the well, world. Did you first hear some Christian person say that it was um, flat? No, I know that the Muslims think it's flat, and then some people say that in the Bible it's it says that it's motionless in the Bible, and it, some people but, say it also says it's flat in the Bible. But did, what I'm asking that, is, did you either read or hear some Christian person say that it was flat when you first when this idea first came to you? No, did it no, come to you by way no. of information from someone else? Um. It wasn't from a Christian, no. It was from a, it was from more of a scientific-minded person, more of a secularist. I think he said that type. too. Was it from a guy named Rob um, S K I B A? No, I know a guy named Skiba. Eric Dubé who I like. Right. Uh, uh, Owen Benjamin has been talking about the flat Earth. I think he's come all the way over. He was questioning for a while, but I think recently he's come all the way. And so it's, there's thing you know. It's, have it's you heard of Rob Skibe? Uh, I think I have heard of that name. Eric Dubé is my favorite flat earther. So let me ask: What is the purpose? What good is it do doing you personally to believe that Earth is flat? Or just what good is that doing? What's the purpose of all this? It does the opposite of good, Jesse. It's a it's a very negative thing in your personal life to to. Uh, for the most part, um, some people, they're, you know, some people I've found it interesting that they're they're not receptive to any other conspiracy theories. Right. And then when I talked about flat Earth, it was the only one they would entertain. So it, it's it's an interesting sort of uh, 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 just it's kind of confusing for me that they would look at that. But then, you know, not, you know, all these other things are just whatever the government says they are. So you uh, say so, it's doing no good. No, it's no good, Jesse. It's a, it's, it's bad for, it's bad for you personally. People think you're <laughs> stupid or crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Robert, thank you, man. I appreciate your call. All right, Jesse. You uh, have a good day. Thanks, man. Bye. You're welcome. Amazing.